Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the two are insect free. Spiders aren't insects. Don't yeah. start. Oh, that, that's a cute line. Hmm. Okay, so I'm guessing those do something interesting. What the heck? Okay, um... Opening all of these is tempting. This room is taller than it looks. Opening all of these is tempting? Yes, it is very tempting. I'm assuming one of them's gonna trigger something. We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. Yeah, exactly. I'm with Sebastian on this one. That's probably where it's gonna spit us out. Wait, no. No, no. Here we go. Finding a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Brilliant. Revelio. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Okay. Is that rat okay? Why is the rat running towards the spiders? Oh, whoa. I mean, with Sebastian's help, this actually isn't that bad. Hmm. Chests. More chests. I need Confringo. Here we go. Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That's interesting. Oh, that's lighting up. feels like a tomb. I've read about hmm. catacombs that underwent expansion efforts and ran into problems, often cave-ins. Mm -hmm. And then were abandoned. Exactly. We'll be fine, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be fine, for sure. Yeah. So I'll head back. Now this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur mm -hmm. and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. It does. But I want to get in there.
think I have to come from it uh, from a different angle. Okay. I intend to open all of these. I don't care if my actions have severe consequences. In this case, it looks like my actions may reward me. Well, I figured as much. Okay. There's something here by the altar. Hmm. Okay, student journal entry. That's not concerning at all. I want to explore in here. We're in a team. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. Yeah. Considering I just blew up a door. Okay. Also, he's just staring at the pile of bones. Here we go. We've made it this far, but clearly we have more to do. Oh. Oh, do I have it? Rickety bone bridge complete. Rickety bone bridge complete. Cute. Okay. Lumos. Bombarda. Okay. Now, where does this lead to? Is this the room I was trying to get to? It is! Woohoo! Collect. Collect a statue or whatever. Lumos. Okay, but we've come full circle. Okay. Well, I'm back, Sebastian. Don't know if you missed me or not. What does this say? I foolishly mentioned the relic in my report and was reminded to leave it where it lay. But research must come before my fealty to the rules. I sense something about this relic. I was told that chosen that those chosen by the English oak wand have powerful intuition. I believe it. Therefore, when no one was looking, I acted. I conjured two barricades to isolate the relic. Ancestors, forgive me. I used their very bones as the key. I plan to return to it but first, I must re ready myself for our next assignment, learning the Imperious Curse. The spell I set is said to serve well against enemies. What did you find? A very interesting letter. <sighs> Which... It's a little concerning at the same time. Okay. Looks like part of a student's diary. 
It mentions plans to return to the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the Great Room, which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius Curse. Really? Mm -hmm. Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or, in this case, no bone. I'm assuming I have to bring those two piles of bones over to that door. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. Bombarda. If this archway's been barricaded, we can find a way through. Another pile of bones. Okay, maybe this is the key. There we go. Does that do it? You've done it. That did do it. Hmm. I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. Ha ha nice. ha. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperius Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. I find it interesting that they make the unforgivable curses optional. And that it's up to you. Uh, and yes, I am going to learn it because getting around to a second playthrough is unlikely and I already know Rishio, so I'd like to learn to use it. How do you know it? How do you know the Emperor's Curse? That's a good question. But, I mean, we already know he dabbles in unforgivable Why did you learn the Imperius Curse? dark magic. I taught myself. Don't tell Ominous that I've told you. It's not exactly something I can brag about, but it may come in handy. I think you ought to know it. Shouldn't I know more about what the curse entails? Remember the blasting curse? Same idea, except when it comes to unforgivable curses, your intention has to be clear. You have to mean it. And I find it also interesting that the top choice is the fact that you don't want to learn it. But yeah, I want to learn it's Imperius. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. There we 
go. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. Okay, so I can... This should be interesting. I'm sorry, but the unforgivable curses are too much fun. spiders that way. Big doors. Mm, another with another barricade. with another Sitting barricade. You did on the last one, this should be a mm. cinch. How mm. gracious of you. I try. Hmm. Okay, so giant spider. Can I go this way? Apparently I can't. That's interesting. Revenia. Well, we might as well go this way. A mess. Bit dramatic, isn't it? Hmm. They're hilarious. They're dynamic. <sighs> oh, some potions. That's always good. Complete this room before I move on. That one's stuck in there. Okay. Bombarda. Dead end. Okay. Not a dead end. This mm. catacomb has suffered decay, just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. Okay, that's the end of that path. Yeah, it doesn't look like anyone's been here for a while. Just saying. Okay, let's go down this path. Let's keep going. <laughs> Back the other way, I guess.
guess maybe that's the way out. Did they both go back in? That worked, so keep going. Oh, it made one of the things go up. Okay, I need. Okay. Okay, last ones. You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. Mm-hmm. Okay, Sebastian, okay. I see well. why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. I'm gonna save. Since we've made some progress in this tomb. This looks like a bottle boss. Yes, no, maybe. That and then for a moment there, I thought that would never end. Mm -hmm. This is Lovely. all that for nothing. Hold on, don't give up yet. We don't know that it's a dead end yet. Okay, two notes. The relic note 
A lost relic illustration. Should we read the note first? The relic contains abundant potential. Its possibilities could benefit not only wizard kind but the world. The dark sacrifice involved to release it intent uh, its intent may be too great. Until we know more, please do not remove this relic. Okay. Uh, it looks like a dark side holocron. God, Sebastian walking up like that scared me. Okay. Interesting. Sebastian, it's right the there. Relic, look. Could it be? Don't remove it. The, the the person's very adamant about not removing it. The note Let's... and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea. But we're here for the relic. The note advises to leave the relic alone. Mm -hmm. I assure you, we were meant to find this. For Anne's no, sake, Sebastian, I'm no. taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. Mm. I must keep this relic secret. Especially Rebellion. for my own. Ominous, is that you? Is that ominous? Yes, it is. It's been here to talk ominous. some sense into you. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. I'm with Ominous, to be honest. How much did you hear? Everything. I was glad to hear you tell Sebastian to leave the relic. We need to stand together. Convince Sebastian this is wrong. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. You're right. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. Good. We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think we should talk to him, but I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. Sebastian, we're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on. I have a feeling something really horrible is going to happen to Sebastian because of the relic. Well, what happened back there? Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance. That the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. I never wanted to keep all this from Ominous. He just doesn't understand. And I did want to worry him all over again. It's not that he doesn't understand. It's that he has a different understanding of the dark arts. So he sees what it can do. He knows what it can do and he doesn't want to go down that path. Whereas you're a little too willing to use the dark arts. 
which is very concerning for your age because it's like you lack any morality. You know, Ominous was very clear in his stance where, you know, it seems harmless until it's too late. As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important. For Anne. That's not good. When we get to Feldcrop, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It did only upset her. This isn't good. What's going on here? Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke. Over there, by the hamlet. Um, no, it's not the trouble. relic. They're under attack. It's not Let's the hurry. relic. Dude. No, why is everything like um, dropping frames? the commander okay well that did something oh dear so she is getting worse oh what's he gonna do Oh, 
that's it. see it's not good how willingly he uses oh ooh, ooh. okay did you have to make it so gruesome boy what have you done saved my sister Still an unforgivable curse from that damned book no doubt your father would be ashamed you've gone too far Sebastian stay away from her from all of us. <laughs> what did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. Mm. There was little time to react, but it was an unforgivable curse. I acted in the moment. That's all. I shall make my uncle see reason. He cannot banish me from my own home, from my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. I mean, what did he think was going to happen by using an unforgivable curse? Like, yeah, okay, it was in the moment. But, like, there are other things he could have... There are other ways he could have defeated. Revelia. Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian, Sebastian did acted go rashly, but he acted out far. of instinct to save Anne. Out of instinct? With an unforgivable curse? This family does not resort to using dark magic, even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Why, Sebastian? Well, that was interesting. I'll talk to Poppy, I think, and then, hmm, do Sebastian's quest, maybe. It's not like her to forget. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. 
What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in plimpies. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How did you do that? How do you track a dragon yeah. long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Well done. You certainly know what you were doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here. You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and okay. one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. Where on the map am I? Can't even find out. Okay. Okay. 